I am Bazala Javed. I am from uh, Sopor, District Baramula, Jammu and Kashmir. I was schooled at St. Joseph's Higher Secondary School, Baramula. Then I did my bachelor's in science from NCM DAV College, Chandigarh. Then I pursued master's from Punjab University, Chandigarh. I'm a polyglot. I can speak nine languages. I know four languages fluently English, Hindi, Urdu, Kashmiri. I have a certificate course in French. I, I can speak and understand Punjabi fairly well. I know three other languages at a very basic level, Turkish, Korean and Arabic. I'm a nature lover. I love gardening, exercising, teaching and fashion design. Are you just passionate about learning various languages? Yes. Yes, sir. I am. You know Turkish also or just? Basic level. Basic? Yeah. Okay. You are a postgraduate in English? English. Yes, sir. So why are you opting for civil services over academics? Uh, so to begin with, I have a very, uh, very deep concern about the society. I want to bring the change, uh, like it is said, be the change that you want to see in the world. Being an academician limits that authority or limits that possibility for me. So I want to get into services so that I can serve society at a, way, at, at a better level. Do you have any role model? Uh, yes, sir. So my grandfather is my role model. Grandfather's? Grandfather is my uh, role model, sir. In what way? Sir, he was in. He uh, he was in. He's now retired. Uh, retired. He was a civil engineer. So uh, the stories I heard from uh, from him fascinated me a lot. The way he did uh, his work. Uh, and served society, uh, society very honestly. The thing that attracts me about him is his honesty. Uh, if you allow me, I could share a story that I still remember. Yeah, so, may I? So, he's a civil engineer and he was given the task of painting a building. But uh, uh, he had to take permission from higher authorities. Uh, uh, who, who was well known uh, that he is a corrupt person. So, if he would give uh, him money for three coats of paint, uh, he, uh, uh, it had to be given for three coats of paint, but he would only give money for one coat and uh, tell the authority that I paid for three coats. So what he did was uh, he asked permission for one coat at a time and uh, uh, the uh, authority gave him permission. But they warned him that we wouldn't uh, give you uh, permission for another one. He said, very well, I'll do that. So once he finished first coat, then he went again. And uh, he told, he again asked for the permission for second paint, uh, coat of paint. Then, uh, very annoyingly, he gave him another permission also. Then third time again, he went there. So the authority told him that, okay, you did what you had to do and in a very honest way. So stories like these have uh, fascinated me and I want to work like him. He did it in civil engineering. I want to do it at a better level. What are your views on women empowerment? Sir, I believe women empowerment is when women feel confident in their own skin. They don't have to prove themselves equal to men. Uh, for example, if uh, it is a general stereotype that women are considered uh, emotional, so it's not a bad thing to be emotional. What we need is uh, we uh, need to change the perceptive of society. Being emotional is not bad, it's good. So when women accept themselves as they are, that's when they'll be empowered. This can happen via two ways. One is the internal factor, the other one is external factor. The internal factor uh, is her own uh, mind, the way she thinks, uh, her perceptive. Uh, so this is molded by uh, the family she lives in, the society she is raised up. So the society plays the external factor. So unless and until both uh, internal and external factors are not worked upon, uh, women would not be empowered. And that way, that, uh, that could be done via education. Education is the key factor here that can change society. So uh, even if a woman is empowered, uh, let's say uh, she's allowed to work, but the uh, streets are not safe for her. So uh, that way her empowered would, uh, empowerment would Are form. you in favor of reservation for women in public appointments and political institutions like legislature, panchayats and local bodies? Uh, sir, I believe that, uh, I believe in the ethos of the constitution that speak for equality. 
and also equity. So what I believe here is if certain uh, sect of the society is not well represented, so uh, they need a push. So that push is reservation. That's why it came into being. However, uh, uh, it should also not be misused for uh, personal gains. So uh, nowadays women are uh, meagerly uh, represented in the political spheres, even in uh, economical spheres. According to the uh, global, eco global economic forums, uh, the women participation in India is very low in e uh, economic fields, in political fields. So that is also a part of women empowerment, sir. Uh, so uh, when, uh, when women is given uh, this push, uh, that is reservation and when they are made equal with the rest of the society then the reservation can again be thought upon do you subscribe to this statement that all important religions all the religions that are followed are patriarchal sorry patriarchal mm -hmm. so i'd like uh, i'd like to take a moment sir um, no i do not agree uh, that uh, every religion is patriarchal for example uh, let's say uh, a hindu religion uh, in vedic times early vedic times the position of women was equal to that of men like she could participate in uh, uh, in samitis sabhas uh, and uh, uh, in other um, uh, in other forums uh, where uh, women uh, needed representation. It was only during the later Vedic peri period that the status of women degraded. So uh, it was because, uh, because certain factors like the patriarchal society uh, that tried to undermine the role of women or her status in the society. So religion per se is not uh, patriarchal, it is the society. For example, uh, different religions in different countries have their uh, cultural uh, effect. So, for example, women in Saudi or women in UAE, they have different restrictions as compared to women here. I being an example of uh, that, uh, that a religion is not patriarchal, it is a society that uh, guides and regulates the way a religion works. Uh, have you heard these words? Yes, sir. Uh, so, I have heard them in the current affairs. No. What, what is where, sir, in which event they are taking? Sir, I cannot exactly recall, but if you allow me, I could make a guess. Yes. Sir, it is again related to women empowerment only. Yeah, yes, sir. But uh, where? This Zan is the slogan of some movement right Zan now Zan going, going on. Zan Zandaki Azadi. Sir, I don't know exactly, but I could make a guess. So it is related to the empowerment of women in economic sphere, for example, in MSMEs. Sorry, sir. Have you heard about Iran? Uh, what is happening in Iran? There, there, are, there are women who are protesting. Why are they protesting? Uh, yes, sir. So it is because of the hijab row that's going on. Uh, one girl, young girl uh, of age 22 or 23, uh, Mehsa. She was killed uh, in the custody of moral police, which led to the uh, huge protests across the world. It was based on uh, the uh, proper way of wearing hijab that she was alleged of not having worn hijab properly, which led to her uh, arrest and then uh, death in the custody. Okay, one question associated with it. Were yeah. women of Iran justified in raising agitation or coming to the streets against say their own rule uh, regard, with regard to the ladies in total, why are they justified? Uh, yes sir, I would say the cause was just justified. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure whether the way they did it was justified. Mm -hmm. However, um, uh, the, uh, the thing that they protested for was uh, freedom of, uh, uh, in Indian constitution, article 19.1a, like it speaks of freedom of speech and expression. Similarly, they were fighting for uh, freedom of speech or expression. Salman, sir. Uh, RBA policy, RBI made a policy right uh, recently, new policy. Uh, RBI. Yeah, Reserve Bank of India. Yes, sir. What, what is the most important uh, take away from that policy? So, well, uh, uh, the recent, uh, uh, there was a forecast of uh, India's GDP 
that monetary policy yes sir yes sir very important event yes for any country i mean almost all the newspapers carry it as their front head yes always yes always so i think good is a good five is a good there was a new policy yes sir what was the what was the sir what was the change in uh record rate uh it was 35 basis points um, uh, the new policy would be hawkish that's what they term that as and uh, uh, they uh, forecasted the gdp for uh, 2022 23 um, uh, sorry 2023 uh, 6.8 which is uh, uh, 0.1% less than what world bank had uh, earlier forecasted the day earlier at uh, 6.9 uh, how does how does this uh, this work why is it called hawkish Uh, sir uh, when we uh, look into the literary meaning of the term hawkish is when uh, the uh, focus or the priority of rbi is only controlling inflation and uh, the least prior sectors others are like uh, uh, growth development etc uh, it is its opposite is dovish policy that focuses more on growth etc than controlling inflation so what does it do what does it so it means that uh, the lending rate at which the central bank land, uh, lends to the banks would be uh, increased which in turn would reduce the supply of money and control of inflation would help tell me about uh, there's a recently uh, the division financial high court stayed an important judgment of the uh, single branch what was the judgment about okay um, uh, it's been few days that uh, the exam of uh, jk sub inspector public services it's into uh, it's into a huge controversy uh, the divisional ben- bench uh, there there had been petitions to the divisional bench of two judges that uh, the exam should be uh, postponed due to certain reasons however uh, there has been uh, a lot of confusion uh, because the hc just you just take a deep breath recalculate your answer mm-hmm. what is what has actually happened here you know just formulated better in terms okay so so there's a controversy related to uh, sub inspector uh, exams uh, so certain people are uh, petitioning the court that it should be postponed uh, however it should be postponed is that what they are petitioning no no that's not the petition for now uh, if we see recent uh, activity that's what uh, i want Uh, the what, the what, what happened okay okay so uh, the uh, exam uh, will be conducted by a private company aptex that has been reg- uh, that has been uh, hired yes uh, yeah um, it, that's a blacklisted company so that is what the issue is about uh, certain you people have the idea but you are not putting no, it you are not touching the main you are not touching the main yes sorry branch thing don't go for branch go for the stem directly okay tell what it is so the it's a simple thing. okay it's a simple thing look i think it's a simple thing hmm. the single branch made a decision mm-hmm. they cost the point point the division has stayed mm-hmm. if somebody asks to other things go into that okay yes sir thanks sir uh, okay we are still still Bajla, you have you have till graduation you had science subjects. Yes, sir. Why did you shift to English and MA? Why? Yes, What prompted you? So to begin with, I had a deep interest in English since my childhood. I st- Now, why did you go for graduation? You had English, one yeah, of the yeah, subjects. Yeah. Okay. So okay. actually, um, after my tenth. 11 12 i've studied english in my graduation i was hoping that i could get to study english uh, so i i got to read english only for a year that means two semesters in my bachelor's i realized i had more uh, liking or more inclination inclination towards english i discovered this during my bachelor's mm. that i have a deep passion for english that was rooted so from my childhood so you had a main english okay yeah i had a main english what what fascinated you for english language is poets literary taste and what what sir um, contrary to that 
I feel uh, I have a link to English. Like I told you, I still remember the first story that I read in English literature. Mm -hmm. uh, I was in first standard. I read a book about Cinderella. So that book, gave, I felt like I was at home. Since then, I have loved English literature. The stories, it fascinated me. I was in sixth standard when I read Shakespeare's uh, Romeo and Juliet and his other. Okay, okay. Which language now? As as Muslims, we know Urdu, Arabic, um, uh, Kashmiri, and English. Which language is more expressive? What do you feel? Now you have heard on all languages. Which language you see is more expressive? Sir, all languages are equally expressive. No, all languages are not. I may not agree with you. They are not equally expressive. But you, what, how do you feel? Which language is more expressive? Sir, I think. Um, Urdu is more expressive. Okay. I haven't. I have studied Urdu only uh, till eighth so standard. Yeah. Fun, sir. Okay. Next question is that uh, who is the governor of JNK? Uh, Manoj Sinha. Sir. Pura sunlo ko se. Who is the governor of JNK? Listen to the question. Who is the governor of JNK? I never said okay. union interview. I said who is the governor of JNK? Governor. Okay. So nobody is governor oh, right now. Good question. Good question. We have a left hand governor. His name is. Okay. okay, there are two terms, bullish and bearish, which which uh, sir had uh, economy uh, was uh, yes, discussing. Sir. What is that? So it is the rise and a fall in the share market. Uh -huh. uh, uh, sir, I'm not. No, no, what is bullish? Bullish. What is what? what can we understand by being bullish? Sir, economy I have read. Being bullish, stock market is being bullish. Uh, so if you give me a minute, I would like to read. There are two terms. Yes, sir. Bull in stock market. Yes, bullish. Sir. Yes, sir. Tendency or bear? bear yes, sir. What are they? Sir, um, it is uh, that the. Um, so, if you give me a minute, I could oh, formulate yes, my yes, answer. Yes, yes. Take your time. Uh, sir, uh, okay, you can, you can. I, sir, it is a rise in the prices of the shares and mm -hmm. uh, fall. But I do not exactly remember which one is bull and which one is bear. Well, always was on. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, okay, let's approach it that, to that answer. Okay. So, you feel for, uh, for uh, upliftment of uh, this woman, society is the impediment? You agree to it? Yes, sir, I do agree. Okay. Sir, uh, can I add? No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Sir, um, this is a personal experience that self-deprivation is the root cause of why women uh, think that they do not deserve. This is also a reason why women do not want to, you know, there's this feeling, there's this inertia within women that they do not want to, even if you convince them. So that self-deprivation is, I think, one of the major factors of... Uh, Who is responsible for that? Uh, women itself. It is because of how the can mindset. We prevent, how can we avoid so yes, self-deprivation? Okay, it's good. But how can we remove? So education, I think. Education is the key here that could uh, change personality, that could change how women think. If they are given that, uh, so uh, I think women will uh, speak for themselves. Can you name a Prime Minister of India who was polyglot? Who was polyglot? Knew many languages. I'm afraid, sir, I do not know. Yeah, naturally, our polyglot Narsimha Rao Ji ke. Sir, I have heard about his reign and I, I was not aware of it. Now, sir, you have told me that which language, in which language you can express yourself. Is they say that mother tongue is usually the language in which you can which express, express yourself. Yes, sir. Hmm? Achha, ye hai, which article of the constitution is known as heart and soul of the constitution? So, um, Article 32. Mm -hmm. Why? So, because uh, it gives the right to people uh, to approach the Supreme Court for rest of the rights that are mentioned in the Constitution. Right. What is that right? Right to? Uh, um, sir, I cannot uh, recall the uh, uh, words. Constitutional remedies. Yes, sir. I, I, const right to constitutional remedies. What is this JNK Reorganization Act? So it came into being on, sir, it was introduced in the Rajya Sabha by Shri Amit uh, Shahji on 5th August 2019. So uh, it, uh, it basically, uh, it was about the division of JNK state, erstwhile state into 
uh, two union ter uh, territories of Ladakh and JNK. Ladakh without a legislative assembly and Jammu and Kashmir with a legislative assembly. Do we have any representative bodies, elected representative bodies in Ladakh union territory? Uh, sir, sir, I'm not sure, uh, but uh, I could make a guess. District Development Councils. I could not recall that I had studied this. Basic yes. Sir. Again, at the cost of repetition, can you name two districts of Peer Panchal region? Yes, sir. So, Poonch and Rajar. Chinaab Valley. Chinaab Valley. Chinaab Valley. Doda, Kishtawar and uh, Rambal. North Kashmir ke districts ke naam batao. Kupwara. Tamraz. Kupwara, Baramala, Bandipura. Maraz ke char districts ke naam bata do. Sir, mar, what's Maraz? Maraz is South Kashmir. Okay, sir. Sir, <laughs> Anantnag, Shopian, Kulgam. And? Pulwama. Yes. This is just something more. Do you know what a tautology is? Sorry, sir? What a tautological statement is? Have you heard? Sir, I have heard. They I teach about the statements now sometimes that uh, this, this theory is tautological. Um, what do you understand by tautology? Sir, I haven't read about it. Do you know you made a statement that uh, uh, the patriarchy arose because society was patriarchal? Okay, yes sir. How can be the reason we call cause of itself? How can something which is there, patriarchy, how can it arise from the itself? Sir. That's for the tautological okay. statement. Anyways, uh, I think you have improved quite a lot. Yes, sir. Definitely. You come yes, across sir. as much better. No, just a little local way. Or eye contact a little bit. Yes, sir. The question will be asked. You are addressing a map which you do in Kitabi, but eye contact is very important. Otherwise, you have improved a lot. Which they interview expression, expression, we take over a basic joke. Hansi, but I have a Saint Joseph's. Saint Joseph's. Why not Delhi? Sir, I actually took admission in government degree college, so poor, but then. In year 2016, due to the political unrest, and also because my father was transferred to Chandigarh, so I had to go along with him. SBI, he is an SBI, State Bank of India. State Bank. State Bank. Yeah, but that is the manager. You have to go to Chandigarh. Chandigarh. You have to go to Chandigarh. That was really his parents in Chandigarh. Your role, you are going far better, especially in considering last time. You have to be on your own. आपका करंट अफेयर्स बहुत अच्छा हुआ है, लोकल नॉलेज भी यस इस बात पे इंप्रूव हुआ है काफी ठीक ठाक हुआ है जस्ट वन थिंग नेशनल न्यूज़पेपर्स आपका अच्छा था आरबीआई का आपने अच्छा बोला ठीक है दैट दैट मच इज एक्सपेक्टेड ऑफ एवरीबॉडी देर आर मेनी अदर थिंग्स आल्सो बट यू टोल्ड Azadi is very important because you are a woman and if there is a woman's protest, you would be asked those questions. And the way you dress naturally, Iran ka question ho to aapko chahi jayega. And you start off, kabhi aapko the opinion badaya jata hai na, you have to own up your opinion. Yes sir. Your opinions can not be wishy-washy. You own up your opinions, you state them. Okay. Obviously your opinions should not be brash, jinko, jinko, जिनकी जिनकी वजह से आपको नुकसान था ना पड़े और आपके ओपिनियन मॉडरेट हैं मैं कौन कि वो ना पड़े ओपिनियन दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन यू व्हेन सबरी आस्क यू बट यू आर यू हैज़ टू बी एक्सप्रेस व्हाट इज़ इन योर व्यू यू नॉट आस्क द एक्चुअल बाय व्हाट व्हाट डू यू थिंक ओब्वियसली समबडी इज़ आपका इंटरव्यू कब है? फोर्थ जैन। फोर्थ जैन। काफी टाइम है। काफी टाइम है। करंट अफेयर्स हाँ, गो थ्रू द करंट अफेयर्स। आई एम शुर दैट यू हैव 
तो न्यूज़पेपर है कोई होगा कोई पुराना वो भी जाना है इसका पूरा समय एक होगा एक दो और दो पिछले दो तीन महीने का देख सकते हैं ऐसे और थोड़ा इंग्लिश लिटरेचर जो कि आपका ऑप्शनल भी है इम्पोर्टेंट जो है टॉपिक्स इंग्लिश लिटरेचर के वो भी और उनको रिलेट करके थोड़ा आपने यहाँ से एंड किया इंडिया के साथ भी कोई इम्पोर्टेंट है सर आई एम रीडिंग कश्मीरी लिटरेचर दिस डेज हिस्ट्री ऑफ कश्मीरी लिटरेचर आगे शायद करेंगे बात हाँ यस या ही इज़ वन ऑफ द मॉडर्न राइटर्स आई रेड वन ऑफ हिज आई एक्चुअली समबडी रोट अबाउट हिम इट वॉज इन नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश बुक सो इट वॉज अबाउट हिज लेटर लाइफ वैन ही डेवलप्ड कैंसर बट द वे ही फाउट इट एंड द वे ही डाइड सो दैट्स ऑल इन नो अबाउट आगर शायद जो इंग्लिश लिटरेचर पढ़ा हो उसके लिटरेचर के बारे में So you must know about him. Yes, sir. Like you had a passion for English literature. Your mm-hmm. subject is English. Your optional is English literature. So the most important thing about him is that he's he's a Kashmiri, Kashmiri English boy. Yes, sir. Uh, he wrote. Uh, he brought Ghazal, which is which is his innovation. He brought Ghazal to the English. Those things are very important. Yes, sir. And some of his poems, if you know. Uh, Yes, sir. So I had read, but I cannot recall yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, सर रसूल मीर सर आई रीच टिल आई डिड एंशंट एंड मडीवियल नाउ आई हैव टू स्टार्ट विद मॉडर्न अभी है टाइम आपके पास मतलब ये थोड़ा जो एक एक पॉइंट में बताओ यस सर यस गिव आंसर्स शॉर्ट ओके डोंट गिव लॉन्ग आंसर्स ओके सर और डोंट एक्सप्रेस योर ओपिनियन ओके यू बी अवे फ्रॉम दैट ओके सर बट रिस्पेक्ट गिव द डिटेल्स एंड शॉर्ट आंसर्स नो लॉन्ग आंसर्स अदरवाइज वेरी गुड थैंक यू सर सर आई वुड वॉन्ट के अबाउट माई टोन द थिंग्स दैट यू आस्क मी टू इम्प्रूव अपॉन लास्ट टाइम तो यू नो यू आस्क मी अ क्वेश्चन वॉट इज योर वीकनेस लास्ट टाइम आई पॉन्डर्ड अपॉन इट एंड देन आई फाउंड दैट यू नो माई टोन समटाइम्स मिस लीड्स पीपल इन टू थिंकिंग दैट आई आई माइट बी एरोगेंट सो दैट इज़ वन ऑफ माई वीकनेस सर फैक्ट्स पे थोड़ा सा और ध्यान दे दो डू आई नीड टू कंट्रोल माय टोन मोर और इज इट फाइन नहीं सो के नहीं 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 आप कंट्रोल एक्सेप्ट बी नेचुरल द वे यू आर लेकिन वो नहीं देखिए पिछली बार क्या था प्रॉब्लम मैं बता रहा हूं यस वर्क इट आउट दैट यस सर यू कीप अ लिटिल बिट अ लिटिल हां दैट इज दैट इज मोर अबाउट द कंटेंट ऑफ ओके पॉइंट इज दैट टोन आपका अच्छा है प्रॉब्लम इज दैट इफ यू आर गोइंग ऑन एंड ऑन अबाउट योरसेल्फ ओके ओके तो इट विल इट विल क्रिएट जस्ट अ देखिए यू वांट टू यू वांट इट्स इट्स नॉट एन एग्जाम इन व्हिच यू आर गोइंग टू स्कोर काइंड ऑफ आउट स्कोर अदर पीपल यू कैन अंडर स्कोर अदर पीपल बाय बीइंग वेरी बैड ओके ठीक है तो अपने बारे में कहो जब जो पूछा जाए आपको पूछा गया अब बताओ अपने बारे में योर पॉलिटिक्स ऑफ दैट्स वेरी गुड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू शुड पुट दैट थिंग यू कैन I I I have working knowledge of four languages. I mm-hmm. can speak it perfectly. I'll be saying common baatein jo hoti hai, maybe somebody ask him later ki maybe isko isko kya bata dete hain. Koi chiz jo common parlance. Those are those are things. Those are things that you have to tell. The point is that like ab aapko exactly pucha ja sakta hai ki aap kahan pe ye ja rahe ho. So you have to practice with yourself. And best way to practice with yourself of that is that you are.